Steve Evans got that as a commanding performance. Yeah, it was an outstanding performance. I think maybe the first 10 minutes we're still trying to deal with the conditions. Um, we're a bit sloppy, which lead to them getting a penalty. If you get... <laughs> it's laughable. I've seen it back. It's laughable. And then, but the referee gives it. And uh, and then we have a good goal. We've got the ball's clearly over the line for when there's a bit of a stromash in the area. We've seen video, we've seen the footage, we've seen the still photo. But in fairness to the referee, there's a rock of bodies in there. But I'm looking at the assistant saying we should call that. So we felt a little bit hard done by. But I thought we really became strong the last 20 minutes before half time. We got the goal. Maybe we should be turning in front despite the penalty. And then I think second half, we controlled our play, we controlled the passing and if you think what we had to defend first half it was just long ball after long ball and I lost count the amount of times in the first half that they just kicked out of play but we got here, I expected a, we worked on a different type of Burton team, I, I was surprised that so many good players on the bench but that's not my responsibility, that's the manager here um, but I, I, so we've we've come away from home which is always tough in League One, coming to Burton Albion is always tough and We'll take anything here, so we've got three points, and it's great for the 400 or maybe 500, if you include the, the people down the side, 500 travelling supporters up to Bottom on a, on a dreadful day when you're advised not to travel. So thank you to every one of them. Conditions played their part, didn't they? And as you said, you had to overcome them, but when you did, the football you were playing was almost unstoppable. Well, we said in the first half that we decided as a strategy that we'll will defend against the wind and some people don't do that. You want to get an advantage and I think they wanted the advantage of the wind. But we said we have to control the passing. We have to pass and move and play. We get, there's not another manager or chairman or director of football this league says we play any football. We should have been here today. Some of the passing in the first half and some of the passing more importantly in the second half was was inventive. It was bright. Obviously with a couple of setbacks, you know, young young Harvey was a little setback. Yep. He should be okay to train again on Monday. Young Finley was feeling his Achilles after training on a Thursday. And then we tried Friday, he was still feeling that a little bit. That push, we could have played him, but I'm never ever going to take a, a risk with a player. I never mind a player of the quality of Finley Burns in, in Manchester City. Pep phoning me up. <laughs> um, so from that point of view, we we made some tough team selections. You know, Jordan Roberts, we just felt needed, needed to get a little bit fresher. And... Um, and the one thing I'll say about the whole dressing room, when we don't name the team to half past one, and when we named it, they were right behind them. But for me, it was for 70 minutes. How can you, how can you not be commending or commanding and commending, whatever the words is, Harrison Neal's performance in the first half? He, he, he only came off because he got a knock and probably his legs were getting a little bit tired. But I think I said it, we had a practice game on Tuesday and he, he was simply stunning in the game. And I made my decision on Tuesday that I was, I was going to start him. I was concerned about Finlay as well, so that made it a little bit easier. And and we know that, you know, Louis, uh, Louis had a couple of days off. We were hell scared of his little baby, but that's on the mend. We we're all hopeful now. So, and Nathan Thompson is obviously missing because of the head knock last week. He was only trained for for a day, and we gave Nathan the weekend off to to go and recover and bounce into the training ground, up, which he will on Monday. So we're we're in a good good position. Seen Dan Sweeney back on the pitch. The fitness team have worked really hard with him for two weeks. He played in the practice match on Tuesday and again, I had to play him. And, you know, he only came off because he got a, a bag on the shoulder late on. So, um, a really good performance. We don't get carried away. It's three points and, and, and it's always tough to win away from home in League One. A good three points though and you're still applying that pressure. Well, I, I don't know if we're trying. We're just trying to hang on with our fingertails in that top half of the table. <laughs> you know, I think, I think people keep writing us off and, we're not going to be there. I thank the Peterborough chairman for his kind words about me personally, but more importantly about the squad we've got. But, you know, for, for us, every point we get, every three points we get, we never forget how hard that is to achieve. We we never forget. We we fear no one, absolutely no one in League One we do we fear. But the difference with us is we respect everyone. We respected Burton Albion today. I respected Ben Robinson and what his football club is all about. And we had to work really damn hard and to get three points and despite the fact that it should be another clean sheet because the penalties are just a joke, just an absolute joke. But we'll get the normal email on Monday. <laughs> we got one after Peterborough, we got one after Port Vale, we'll get one we'll get one on Monday after Burton. 
cut and paste job, isn't it? Well, it's just I think it is. It's it's it's. Uh, there used to be, I think it was in the sun, it used to be Dear Joan, I think it's now Dear Steve, you know, and um, so, so, uh, and that could have been any other national newspaper that had a column you write into, but yeah, so we're, we're pleased, you know, you, you can see what, how, how, how our squad is, 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 is very competitive and, you know, we, we, we changed the front three in, in a key stage of the game, 18 minutes in the heat of the battle and we take Jimmy Reid off, has been, has been brilliant and, and we take Kane Hemmings off, who covered every blade of grass again today. But we bring Aaron Presley on, and we bring Elliot List on, and bring Jordan Roberts on, and, and and move Luther into the back, who's a very accomplished player. So we we need our squad to squad to stay fit. We've got a tough game at Port Vale. We'll leave this stadium in the next 20 minutes, and we'll play as best we can for a tough FA Cup tie, and then a big big game at the Lanarks. Well done.